hiding out in the middle of nowhere following my yacht. Are you Alan Habib? Yes, I am. And who, may I ask, are you? I'm Nikki Ferris. Please, I must talk to you. It's terribly important. What do you have to say to me? I never heard of you in my life. You're dripping all over my carpet. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't think, because you have managed to get on board, that I'm going to give you money. Oh, I don't want any money. Really, I don't. What do you want? Hurry, you are holding up my ship. Are you going to I ask George just to buy those emeralds? What did you say? The emeralds that were stolen from, from Lady Watson here in London. She kept them at the bank. And Mark was asked to take them to her, and he was held up. And he never saw the man's face. It was a terrible scandal. And Mark had lost his job and was disgraced. And he was in... <coughs> now, please explain what emeralds. Can I sit down? Sit. Aunt Frances and I are on a holiday, and we went to I asked George's to record some songs for the BBC. And Mark was there. It was a wedding, and next day I found him in the crypt. He'd been attacked by Stratos. Stratos? Well, he's the man with the emeralds, so I helped him. Who? Well, Mark. I had to. But then Stratos found out, shot me in the windmill. He was going to kill me, I think, but Mark and Alexis got me out. Who is Alexis? Oh, he's a boy from the village. He's got a donkey. I see. What happened then? Well, then, we ran away and spent the night in these ruins. Oh, there were so many cats. And then Mark told me who he is. Who is he? Well, he's the man who was held up. Not the man whose face you didn't see. Whose face did you see? Mark's. But he's in... in... I think I need a drink. Oh, I know it's all my sound absolutely crazy to you. But I'm so afraid that Stratus will kill him. And now Mark's go back to try and stop him. Please help me. Please, Madam Habib. <laughs> Stratus will stop at nothing. And Mark is sick and weak because he was shot in the... Sh <laughs> Who else knows about the emeralds? Uh, my... My Aunt Frances. Well, I had to tell her. And where is she? Well, she's in a house at the airport. Drink. What is it? It may clear your brain. Oh, my brain's perfectly clear. It's just I'm so cold. <laughs> that will warm you. Tell me, do you often have adventures of this kind? <sighs> Never. This is the first one I've ever had in my life. Something tells me it is not likely to be the last. So, your aunt knows. And she's in a hearse at the airport. Dead or alive? Oh, alive. At least I hope so. Anyone else? Um, well, Sophia knows. And Lambeth, I suppose. And I wanted to tell Mr. Consul, the British Gamble. Mr. Gamble, the British Consul. Mr. Gamble, the Consul? Yes, do you know him? When I knew Mr. Gamble, he was not the consul. He was a dealer in antiquities. And you know what you are? You are an imposter. Me? You are the girl from that English children's book who walked through the glass into a world full of crazy people. And you know who I am? I am the March Hare. Madame, may we get underway? At once. So, what is it precisely you want me to do? Don't buy the emeralds. Please, give them to Mark, and then he'll take them back to the bank. And then he'll get his job back, and everyone will know that he's in... innocent. I have known many strange people in my life. But you are the most incredible. 